Welcome to Jesus Yoga. Let's learn Adham Pranayama, which is the belly breathing. And for total beginners, it's best to actually lay down and try this laying down. Come practice with me and learn it with me as we go. So we're going to lay down on our back. Best is to lay really, really flat. And maybe if you'd like, you put a folded up blanket underneath your knees. It makes especially for beginners, more and more comfortable. Now, in this breathing technique, we want to isolate the movement of the belly. So we only want to breathe in and pump our belly like a balloon, like you're blowing in a balloon, the belly rises. And then when you breathe out, belly falls. falls. And to get more awareness of this movement, you can actually take a rock. Now, this is a gem, um, but it doesn't matter what you use. You can also use, you know, a little lotion or something to put on your belly, just so you have a little weight on your belly and you can be more aware of this movement. So you can actually lay down and relax for a minute. And now you start breathing in, just breathing into your belly. Try to relax your chest. Nothing is moving up here, just your belly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Belly rises all the way up. And exhale, belly draws in. Inhale, belly rises up and belly falls and draws in. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Great. Now, if this went well for you, let's start sitting up and let's try it sitting. Now, find a comfortable seat. You can also sit in a chair, sit up straight, putting both feet on the ground. You can sit cross-legged. I have a meditation pillow, which really helps me to sit up straight. Make sure not to sit on the behind edge of the pillow, but scoot up to the front. So really your back is straight, it really helps. Now you can place both hands onto the belly, which means not up here, but just below the belly button. Relax your shoulders, relax your face, and now start breathing in. Belly moves out, and exhale, belly moves in. Belly rises and belly falls in. Feel that movement. Inhale and exhale. Draw in the belly. Inhale. And exhale. And I really want you to really breathe into your belly so you can put your hands actually onto the sides. Breathe in and out one more time. And feel the expansion of the belly all the way to the sides and exhale, draw in. Inhale. Exhale. Now make sure not to draw up your shoulders, but keep them down. One of the advices that I give is tape yourself during the pranayama and you will actually see maybe mistakes. Maybe you go 
you know, this is exaggerated, but then it's not an isolation of the movement anymore. Now, why would we do belly breath? Actually, it helps your digestive system to really get your organs working better. It calms you, get stress immediately off of you, helps you to calm down and relax, to breathe deeply. Now these belly breaths, that's actually how you breathe when you sleep at night. So it is really calming and relaxing and rejuvenating. And you can do this in a sitting in pranayama, but you can also practice this once you know how to isolate the movement really well. During the day, anytime, you can sit somewhere, maybe you have to wait in line, maybe you have to wait on the bus, it doesn't matter, you can use that time to actually do deep belly breaths and release any kind of tension and stress. Today we learn full yogic breathing. And full yogic breathing are three parts. It's the belly, the chest, and we breathe all the way up to the collarbones up here. So we do it first in stages and then we can slowly get into a more rhythmic breathing in and out. So what we do is first we breathe into our belly and the belly inflates like a balloon. Then we push the air further up into the chest and then the next stage is all the way up to the collarbone. Make sure not to raise your shoulders but keep them relaxed and down. You know nothing else has to move, nothing, we don't have to draw them up. So relax, sit up nice and tall. Maybe put one hand onto your belly, that means here's your belly button, right by your belly button, not up here, down here. And then maybe put the other hand on the chest so you get more of a feeling of things rising and falling. And you have, if you have problems sitting up, you can do this laying down just perfectly and fine. So if you do the breathing, maybe close your eyes and relax. Now start breathing in, inhale. First the belly rises, then you breathe all the way into the chest, then you move the breath all the way into your collarbones, and on the way out you do the opposite, out of your collarbone, out of your chest, and your belly draws in. Inhale, belly moves out into the chest, into the collarbone, out of your collarbone, out of your chest, and belly moves in. Inhale, belly rises. Push the air all the way up into the chest, into your collarbones, and out of your collarbones, out of your chest, and draw in the belly in. Inhale into your belly, all the way up into your chest, your collarbones, out of your collarbones, out of your chest, belly draws in. And you might be breathing faster and slow or slower than I am, which is perfectly fine. You need to find your rhythm. What is really good about this breathing is that you learn to use the full capacity of the breath, which is really energizing it releases tension, you will be able to concentrate more, calm yourself down, and also it is good for any kind of digestive problems. And to be more aware of your breath, and you can do this breathing exercise, you know, you don't have to, once you know it a little bit more, you don't have to put your hands here. You can walk around and do the breathing, maybe use any kind of waiting time that you would usually hate. You know, you can use it as pranayama practice and help yourself to get fresh new energy during the day. Let's learn Sukha Pranayama today. For Sukha Pranayama, you put both of your hands onto your knees and it is really good if you touch 
your thumb with the pointy finger, just the tips of the fingers, and you can place your hands down. But since you want to receive any D, it's better to open the palms and just relax. Relax your shoulders. You can relax your hands. You don't have to push up your shoulders. Make sure to really draw them down. Now this breathing exercise, Sukha Pranayama, means easy breathing and it is easy breathing. All you need to do is inhale, just inhale as it is comfortable. Don't try to put any tension into your belly so you don't suck the belly in. Just release everything, just sit up straight. Inhale as it is comfortable. Hold the breath as long as it's comfortable. And then you exhale as long as it's comfortable. You do not have to follow a certain rhythm, but you can. So close your eyes. And I will give a rhythm at first, but you need to find your own rhythm. So, close your eyes, sit up straight, make sure your jaw's relaxed, your back's relaxed. You can sit in a chair if you have to. And then you start inhaling. Hold the breath. Exhale. Inhale, hold, exhale, inhale, hold, exhale. Great. You can find your own rhythm. If you're really unsure what you're doing, you can follow a rhythm. You can inhale for four seconds, hold it, for example, for two seconds, and exhale for four seconds. But you don't have to. It's just if it helps you. And what you can do is, if your mind wanders, you can just count in your head while inhaling. One, two, three four, hold it, one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four. And maybe after you have practiced this a little bit, you can just let go and just let everything go and relax. And this pranayama really helps you to release any kind of tension and stress and it helps you with blood pressure, any kind of blood pressure problems, really gets the circulation in your body going, really gets any kind of hypertensions and everything released, anger re releasing, and really letting everything go. You will feel immediately more energized and concentrated. 